What's going on, Gemini? Welcome to your June 2020 tarot and astrology forecast. I hope you guys are doing well. If you're new here, my name is Tony Michelle. We are not all love, light, twin flames, and unicorns and all that shit over here on this channel. So please keep that in mind when listening to this reading. I'm going to keep it real with you about what I see and all of that. So yeah, let's get into it. So Gemini, this is a big month for you. Happy birthday if you are celebrating your birthday or have recently celebrated your birthday. And I hope you guys are doing well. Happy birthday month and all of that. It is a crazy time though, unfortunately. Um, this year is freaking crazy, man. Freaking crazy. So let's get into your reading. So the first two cards that I want to go over here um, are some oracle cards. So the first one says, I praise the goddess and the God. And then we also have, I spread joy. So to me, this card about the goddess and the God is about integrating and embracing both your masculine and feminine energy. And so I think that this month in June, and for some of you guys right now, maybe you've been really getting into this other side of yourself, which I mean, Yes, archetypally, like Gemini's have the two sides, the twins, all of that. So this could definitely be referencing something like that. But I feel this is more of honoring yourself as sacred and all of the parts of yourself as sacred instead of just one part that you like more than another or a part that you don't like about yourself. And also finding yourself and other people. I feel like this is about Gemini because for you, and I do see this in your cards, it seems that you guys are struggling with something or someone. This could be in your personal life or this could be on a larger scale, like the things going on in the world. And so I really see here as a spiritual solution to this and a healing solution to this, it is definitely about integrating these different parts of yourself. If something really, really bothers you, it's likely usually because there's a part of that person or that situation within you that you're rejecting within yourself. So instead of looking for the differences, it's more about looking for the similarities, I feel here, Gemini, because I do see in your reading, there's a lot of like separation. And in my opinion, personally, in my beliefs, and you do not have to believe everything that I say or anything like that, you don't even have to agree with everything I say. Um, but just from what I'm picking up here is that separation um in, in my own belief is that separation is really the cause of almost any kind of situation that is really kind of tragic or horrible or whatever it's looking at the differences always thinking that we're different than people or we're separate than people or whatever the case may be we're right they're wrong you know all of this stuff and in the spiritual world in the spiritual realm depending on where your consciousness level is at you begin to see that we're not so separate. You know, animals are not so separate. Nature is not so separate. Other people are not so separate. We're all connected in a weird way. And things happen in order for us to grow, sometimes even though they may seem very challenging and very upsetting or very hard or very um, emotional at times. And so with this card, I praise the goddess and the god. I think this is about... Uh, integration, bringing two things together in your life that maybe you've had separated for quite some time, whether they're within you or whether they're external to you. And so, um, and also just embracing your masculine and feminine energies, you know, our feminine side or our feminine sides are a little bit more passive, receptive, intuitive, darker, emotional. Our masculine sides are more about what we can see. You can think about like the sun and the moon. The moon is feminine, the sun is masculine. The sun is about order and what we can see and discipline and action. You know, the moon is more about reaction, what we can't see, what's in the shadows, all of that. So I feel that you guys are doing a lot of integration right now and, and this month. And we also have I spread joy. So I think that you guys could be very hung up in a situation, a decision, or a weighing of something back and forth this month. Um, there's something that's kind of really got you like stuck in the middle of something. And so I really think that in a time of so much uncertainty, so much chaos, so much pain, so much separation, okay, 
I think for you guys, what would really, really turn that spark back on for you or really make you feel like you're a part of something so much more is the Gemini charm that you guys have and carry the gift that you have as a Gemini. I fucking love Geminis. If you're new here, I fucking love Geminis. <laughs> I love Gemini energy. I have a son that is a Gemini. Prince was a Gemini. And he's like the perfect example of a Gemini. Like he brought people together of all different ages, races, no matter what. It did the separateness of it did not matter. It was not about differences. It was about what do we all have in common? What's you know, what's going to give us joy? What's going to bring us joy? You know, and and so that's why I like love Prince. He's like my spirit animal. But anyway, so with I spread joy, Gemini, I think what in a time like this, what we need, so many people are focused on the problem instead of the solution. So many people are focused on what they don't want in the world instead of what they do want. And I feel like with a month like this for you, Gemini, whether this, like I said, this could be in your personal life or this could be with what's happening in the world right now. You know what I mean? It's going to be different for different ones of you since this is a general reading and I can't like talk to you. But with I Spread Joy, I think this is very much about using your Gemini charm to make people see the light lighter side of things okay um to integrate both the goddess and the god within you and use that energy to not only relate to others but to bring others joy and to focus more on what you do want rather than what you don't want because whatever you whatever you're constantly focused on or thinking about or doing that is what you're giving energy to so if you're always focused on the things that you can't stand or the things that you don't want which i feel like in these cards i see a lot of that here that is what you're going to keep bringing into your life that is what you're feeding your energy to it's like sucking your energy from you and so in order to bring more joy into your life you have to focus on joy and i think that you will be someone that is going to really bring joy to other people this month and that is going to also help you find the joy and help you find your own sense of meaning in all of this and your own place in your own situation or whatever it is that you're going through now for a lot of you i think that you're struggling with a job or with money um for some of you it could be like a relationship or family thing but i feel like for a lot of you there's some kind of struggle here with something that you're really wanting to explore but it's kind of not moving fast enough or maybe you're you're juggling two different jobs or two different options with something and uh, because we have the page of wands for your first card okay so and I'm really seeing this page of wands right now as joy you know like wanting joy wanting more fun in your life you know especially with that Venus retrograde in your sign it's like where can I have more fun where can I find more pleasure where can I lighten things up you know what I mean where can I explore, you know, like where can I find new talents, hobbies, skills, whatever. But with the two of pinnacles here after it, it's kind of like something I feel is weighing you down or possibly holding you back. And you're trying to keep these two things or this whatever it is together. And it's like kind of taking a while. Okay, with the knight of pinnacles coming after this. So you're kind of weighing out options here. I also see you, some of you possibly trying to make some kind of deal or signing some kind of contract or making some kind of commitment or negotiation in the beginning of June. That's not going to be for all of you, but it's going to be for some of you. This could be a house, car, whatever. Um, something physical and earthly, though, in the earthly realm. So that was crazy. I just saw a feather completely drop. <laughs> so... Something physical and in the earthly realm, I think is what you're dealing with here. A person, place, or thing. Interesting. So you're, you're kind of like, it's kind of like what do I need to drop to make space for what this is that I really actually want? Because right now I feel like you have things that are not making you happy that you don't want. 
And Venus retrograde is questioning your confidence, is possibly having you guys question your confidence a little. Because moving on to mid-month, we have the Eight of Swords. And with this Venus retrograding your sign, I feel that a lot of you guys could really be a little bit like in your head or looking in the mirror and being like, what am I doing? Or where am I going? Or what do I want? Or how can I change myself? Venus retrograde in your sign is basically all about your appearances, all about how you see yourself, how other people see you, your mannerisms, your, um, there's the feather again. It's like literally flying up against my window. It's crazy. But yeah, it's all about appearances, your mannerisms, how other people see you, all of that. And so I think that you're seeing yourself as stuck in a situation and it could have something to do, I'm really getting boss for a lot of you, a boss or someone that you work with, um, or just somebody that may kind of exude a lot of power or confidence or authority. Um, this could also even be a partner for some of you or just someone in your life. For some of you, this could also be you. Okay, so this could definitely be some confidence issues coming up here or some ego issues coming up here in the middle of the month with this King of Wands. And then we also have the Five of Swords afterwards. So this is kind of like resisting something is what's coming to me here. It's resisting something, and I think that you feel you need to take a risk, or you feel like you need to walk away or let something go, whatever this is, whether it's person, place, thing, situation, yourself, I don't freaking know, but there's definitely something here that you're trying to obtain freedom from. It's really been a pain in the ass. It's like giving you a headache mid-June, <clears throat> okay? And... I think you're kind of waking up to this. You're kind of waking up to this this month. And it's like, wow, the signs have been there. Like, you've been getting a lot of signs, Gemini. <clears throat> I feel like you've gotten a lot of signs. But you've been so in your head or you're listening to other people. And it gets to a point towards the end of June where you get in this Eight of Cups phase, okay? Which we like to see. She's like burning it and walking away. So I feel like by the Cancer solar eclipse, the Cancer new moon solar eclipse happening on the 21st, something is like just, I'm done. Like emotionally, you're like, I'm just, you're walking away for something better, something that you can spend more of your time on, something that you are going to grow from the ground up that is going to be more stable, secure, and fruitful for you. And you're sick of kind of waiting because I, I kind of feel like there's like this energy of like waiting, like you've waited for something to get better. And now you're in this, this energy, this beautiful energy by the end of June where you're like, I want to I want to be in bliss and I want to spread bliss to others. I want my tribe. Like Gemini, you're like ready to meet your tribe. And this is when Mars moves into the Aries at the end of the month, which is a place for you that is about finding your tribe. Your group of people, like-minded people that are like you, that understand you, that want what you want, that want happiness. I also feel that some of you guys could be celebrating pride this month as well with this Ten of Cups and Three of Cups or even celebrating something, um, a graduation, something that's like a, a huge milestone or just like a huge thing that's like, um, I don't know, like a graduation or even pride, like something that means a lot to you that's really important for you. And this is going to help you so freaking much because we have the death card at the bottom and the sun and the empress, okay? So this to me is just screaming like healing. <laughs> healing, healing, healing. Once again, we have that 
I was talking about the sun and then the empress is feminine, so that masculine and feminine energy. This is transformation and tons of healing that you're going to be going through this month, Gemini. And really finding your own confidence, your own sense of beauty, what's beautiful to you, and what is going to give you more meaning, more meaning, more bliss, more just more like love and just more passion into your life than what you have currently, if that makes sense. So, but I do see some possible struggles with you, uh, with either another person or at a job or something along those lines, because it's also in the astrology as well. Not only is it in your cards, but it's in the astrology. So on the fifth of this month is when we have the Sag lunar eclipse. And this is the Sag lunar eclipse is happening in your opposite sign of Sag. So this is a really big deal for Gemini because this is going to show you your opposites. This is going to show you those parts of yourself that you may not be wanting to integrate. And for a lot of you, it could bring up some relationship stuff that needs to be addressed or that you may need closure on or something. Um, it's going to bring up relationship stuff and it's going to question if there's certain relationships, commitments, contracts, businesses, whatever the case may be, if there's certain commitments in your life that are worth it or that are actually going to go somewhere. Okay, and so it's going to kind of be a question of am I achieving what I want from this? And that's kind of what I see in your cards here because that lunar eclipse is going to be squaring Mars in a place for you that's all about your life and, and your achievements and also your reputation, what you're known for and what you're going to leave behind and all of that. So there's kind of this conflict between career achievements, are you getting payoff, all of that, um, versus commitments in your life or relationships in your life, if that makes sense. Now, towards the 18th, <clears throat> Mercury is going to go retrograde this month. And this is going to happen in a place for you that's all about money, your worth, your value, what you have to offer. So once again, that I see you like really getting back to who you really are, Gemini, and really getting back to what's important to you and why you're important, okay? Because you have something to offer whether you think you do or not, okay? You've just possibly been in a mindset for a while where you felt like you were stuck because there wasn't space. There was something, there was too much, and you needed to make space to do what you're good at, okay? And so Mercury retrograde in that second house is going to be very great for you guys, I think, because you're going to reevaluate what's important to you, what's worth it to you. And also any financial situations, I would not make any huge purchases, um, you know, towards the end of this month and into next month if you can help it. Uh, just, yeah, I just wouldn't do that since it's in your house of finances and stuff like that. So also I probably wouldn't sign any contracts just yet either. Now, um, 21st of June, we have the Cancer new moon solar eclipse also happening in the same place about money, your resources, your income, what's, you know, what's worth it to you, your values, all of that. And this is also going to square Mars in the 10th. And so this is where you really ask yourself, is this worth it? Am I getting what, am I getting what I deserve? Am I receiving respect? Because it doesn't look like you are. It doesn't look like a lot of you are. And so this is where it's kind of like, I deserve better than this. Deuces, you know? So on the 25th, Venus finally goes direct, which Venus is in your sign. So this is where, you know, things really start coming together and making sense what this Venus retrograde has been all about for you. And then on the 27th, Mars moves into Aries, like I mentioned before, which is all about your tribe, your people, your community, like where your place in the world. What are your wishes? What are your hopes? What are your dreams? And you're going to start feeling a drive to really accomplish those. So 
Then at the very end of the month, Jupiter and Pluto will be conjunct again for the second time this year so far. The first time they got together was the beginning of April. So if you want to see what happened back around that time, um, because now they're both going to be retrograde when they conjunct. So they may bring up something from around that time that was either started or that needs to be finished or that needs to be reexamined. Okay, and this is happening in a place for you that deals with other people's money and resources. So we're talking debt, bankruptcy, credit, loans, you know, all of these different resources that you get from institutions, the government, other people, you know, if you have a business partner, if you share money with your partner, um, this is where you kind of like really are going to be re-examining your financial sector, um, even more so when it comes to other people wanting money that you share or get from other people or places. This is also a place of intimacy and intimate relationships, closure, uh, change, and things of that nature uh, could come up around that time for you to re-examine and see what needs to be changed, okay? So that is what I am seeing for you guys this month, Gemini. Hopefully you guys liked this video. Let me know down below. If it ends up resonating, I love to hear your guys' feedback. Thank you so, so much for all of your support. I truly, truly appreciate it. I hope you guys have a good birthday month, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.